the Gingerbread 2.3 update has started rolling out uh, a few days ago and some people have asked me how to flash it and uh, it's just like flashing any other firmware so you're going to go to um, the flash tool website and download the version 2.3 build right now uh, it's only out for the iPhones and not the A version but it doesn't really matter you can flash any firmware onto any phone so if you do want to uh, start using it immediately you can use uh, the i firmware um, so just uh, before you ask any questions re visit the uh, map so this lists all the carriers that have uh, the uh, 2.3 update and obviously this will be updated um, as the re update is released uh, worldwide and again uh, some carriers not all carriers will get it but you can always flash the generic firmware so if your carrier doesn't release it just download the flash tool and uh, flash your phone this is the news thread so read this thread for all the news so again flashing is exactly the same as flashing a 2.1 firmware uh, you're going to use the flash tool and let download the uh, file. So if I go into the flash tool and go into firmwares, I've got uh, the 2.1 firmware and right here you see I've got the new 2.3 firmware. So download the file, put it in the firmware folder of the flash tool and then just go into flash. Your phone does not have to be rooted, it doesn't have to be modified in any way. Uh, you can flash any firmware onto any phone. So for example, this phone is running a custom ROM, but uh, that doesn't matter. Just start up the flash tool, click on flash, and choose the 2.3 firmware. Uh, as always, back up your phone, back up your data to the SD card or export it to uh, Google over the air before you flash. Um, you can save your text messages, save your contacts, etc. So I'm just going to click OK. Um, and as always, you need both update service and PC Companion installed or else this won't work. It won't detect your phone. So I'm just going to pull the battery out, pull the back button, plug it in, and then put in the battery. Green light's going to come on and the flash tool is going to start flashing. Once it finishes flashing, just unplug the phone, hold the power button, and start it up. So once the phone started up, as you can see it's now running 2.3, similar to the Arc. Uh, this is a, a generic iFirmer, but it will work on a phone, 2.3.3, baseband 71, and 3.0.1.75. If you don't have 3G settings, either enter it in manually under wireless and networks, mobile networks, and access points. You'll have to enter in your information. Else you can try going into automatic setup and it may be able to download it for your carrier. So go into again Sony Ericsson at the top, settings download, agree, and it'll try to contact your carrier. So Rogers or Fido in Canada, click on your carrier and it should download the settings. Uh, once it downloads the settings, you'll see 3G or H pop up and then you'll have data. So there we go. Just to confirm that data works, I'm just going to go into the browser. And data does work. So that's how you update the phone to 2.3.
In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to install the pre-rooted version of this ROM uh, because the official gingerbread ROM from Sony Ericsson can't be rooted yet. So again, visit this thread and follow the instructions. Um, you have to have X Recovery installed on your phone and it has to be working. So this is X Recovery. I'm just going to reboot the phone. So here's the thread that explains how to do it. Copy the zip file and flash it using X Recovery. And then you have to use the flash tool to update the baseband and kernel. So there's two files you need to download and you need to do it from X Recovery as well as the flash tool. So I'm just going to start off. So I'll turn on the phone. When you see the Sony Ericsson logo, press the back button. This is uh, to get into X Recovery. So this is for uh, rooted phones if you're using a custom ROM or you're using anything else that has X Recovery. Okay. So I'm in X Recovery now. So to start off, go into Advanced Options. Uh, sorry, go into uh, Partition Tools, and you're going to format the system. Format Data. Uh, format Cache. And then you're going to go into install custom zip, choose custom zip, and go to wherever you've copied the zip file that you downloaded. So I've copied it into the gingerbread folder. So install. Once that's complete, go into Advanced Options and wipe the cache again. And once that's done, this is very important, do not reboot the phone. Pull the battery out. So now, as you're going to use the flash tool and update the baseband. So going into flash tool, Click on Flash, and here you'll see the 3.01 baseband and kernel. So click OK, and flash your phone like you would flash any other firmware. So I'm just going to plug it in, hold the back button, and flash the phone. Once it's complete, just boot up your phone. As you can see, you've now got uh, 2.3 on the phone. It does say I because only the I firmwares have been released so far, but it doesn't matter, you can still use it on the A phone, 2.3.3, and the same baseband and firmware as the first time I flashed it. If you go into the programs, you'll see Super User. 
uh, which means your phone has been rooted. So again, there are two methods of uh, updating to Gingerbread. The first one is to use the flash tool and just flash the firmware directly. This works on any phone, AT&T, Rogers, uh, any carrier branded phone. You do not have to be rooted, you do not have to be unlocked. Just download the firmware file, go into the flash tool, and flash it. However, you cannot root this. The second method is to use XP recovery and copy the zip file to the phone and flash it and then go into the flash tool and flash and update just the kernel. Okay, So that's how you update the X10 to 2.3. Um, again, before you ask a question, go to the rollout map read and read these threads. So this is the official thread that's tracking all the releases of 2.3. Uh, this is the official news thread for 2.3 and this is the flash tool website which has 2.3 right now only for the eye it is uh, July 30th and hopefully soon you'll get the A version but uh, again it doesn't matter because all the firmwares will work on all phones um, this is the recovery page that shows you how to get a pre-rooted version of uh, gingerbread and this is the specific thread with the instructions.